Hey, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Today we're going to paint this really cute little Easter bunny with his carrot. And I've got my water and uh, paintbrush, my colors all set out. And let's get started on this. First, I'm just going to create a little bit of a background here. And I don't like adding too much color into the backgrounds because uh, you want to make your rock as thin as possible with all the layers that you're putting on. So I'm grabbing my paint pen and putting, you know, squishing some color down as you can see. And while the paint pen's still wet, I'm just smushing it across to give it a bit of a, a wishy-washy look. And this is how I'm creating my background. Adds a bit of color and it's really great to help define the character. And next I'm just, uh, here I'm laying down my base colour, okay? So I only ever do two coats of colour on my rock because acrylic paint pens are very opaque, so you don't have to put too many layers on them. And here I'm just adding the first thin layer of paint and I'm going to do all the colours with just one thin layer. And this first layer also acts as my base coat. Okay, so depending on how porous your rock, in, rock is, is going to depend on if a little bit might soak into the rock. Might not look quite as even as you might like it, but the second layer picks it up beautifully. So you only just want to paint one thin layer and let it dry, and then pop the second layer of colour on, which I'll do in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to add some colour into the Easter eggs. And so to not bore you with the process, I'm just, once this is dry, which only takes about a minute, I'm just going to then add the second layer of paint on. But I won't be showing that in the filming. I'll just keep going so it doesn't take up too much of your time. Watching it, give you more time to paint your own. Little white tail there. Okay, and boom, there's the second layer done. I've got my water and my brush and I'm going to start shading now. So I just take some darker colours. I've dipped my paintbrush in the water and I've wiped all the excess drippy water off it onto my microfiber cloth. And now I'm just going to smush a bit of the paint. I pick it up off the tip of my paint pen, you can see. And I'm just smushing it into some of the areas that need shading. You can see I'm not fussy with how I do it. I just lay a bit of colour into the areas, basically where the light won't shine as much. It's a little bit of sh sh oh, shadow on his face because of the carrot. The sun is casting light down onto the carrot and then it's causing a bit of shadow to go on the bunny's face. Same as his body would cast a bit of shadow going onto his legs and just adding some of the darker colour onto the inner ear where the sun doesn't get into. A little bit of brown paint onto the orange carrot and that gives that little bit of shading there. Okay, if you get too much just go back with your original colour and put that in place. This is the new forest green. It's in the new Posca colours that have just come out in Australia and UK. I'm not too sure when they're hitting the US market, but so I just use that on my leaf. You can see how little bit, sometimes I just put a little stroke of pen onto, straight onto the rock. And then with my damp paintbrush, I can just smush that around as well. So there's two different ways I'm showing you here to add that bit of shading. And what, before you get like a really good looking rock, it's just going to look like a bit of a mess like this one. Just kind of looks like there's paint sort of smushed around everywhere and uh, looks like a really bad colouring in project at that point. So here I'm just grabbing my Posca fine liner and I've got the 1MR in Posca. The Tully Art and Artistro, they also have fine liner pens that you could use. All great acrylic paint pens. And then I'm just going around all my outlines here. So this is the top, the top layer of outlines. Pop those little toes in there. Okay, 
what have we got? Use belly. And I'm, I always use these kind of these four steps when it comes to creating my drop rocks because all these ones I hide in my community. If I'm doing an art rock, I don't do all the outlines and things like that. I do a lot of time spent on shading. But it's uh, really easy to create the, the drop rocks just by using these four simple techniques that I'm showing you in the video. Here I'm just adding like extra black into the edges, just sort of emphasizing that little bit of shadow that's going in. I just make that little dark areas there. Okay. And I always put the decorations on the on the eggs, but I always or add my face details in with the black as well. So we've got the mouth and the little eyes and whiskers. Always pop your whiskers on last because they sit over the top of everything else. Alright, make him a little bit more happy, happier looking. And now I'm just taking the white pen and, and popping in some highlights and this is where the light is just bouncing off, off the image. So just little dots and dashes that represent the light that's shining down. And that's it. So I can't wait to see your bunnies. Jump over on the group at Reef Rocks Free Workshops and show us the rocks you create.